homesteading animals. Molly Sowash grew up just north of Columbus in Worthington, and any chance she could get, she would visit her uncle and aunt's farmland in Athens. I didn't grow up here, but I learned to love nature through being here as a kid. That love turned into an underlying passion. Molly went off to college in Minnesota to study English, but kept being pulled back to agriculture. I was able to intern and work on a couple farms, particularly one in western Minnesota that was raising grass-finished beef. And I was there a short time, but they made a big impression on how to use livestock to regenerate the land and actually um, leave it better than they found it. After college and time working in agricultural nonprofits, she decided to call Southeast Ohio home. Her uncle and aunt gave her the property she grew up on to farm with in March of 2020. I got my first set of calves that spring and kind of learned from them and hopefully them from me as we uh, figured out cattle ranching. Six months later, she met her now fiance, CJ. Together, the pair farm on just over 120 acres of land. According to the United States Department of Agriculture, the average age of the American farmer is 58 years old and male. And while Molly doesn't look like your typical farmer, she's not the only one. It's been interesting to be a woman and beginning farmer and first generation farmer trying to learn this. But I've also had some models and that first farm I interned on in, in Minnesota, there was like a really amazing um, female farmer and her husband leading up the charge. Moso Farm raises grass-fed and grass-finished beef. Molly says her farm is her way of doing her part in helping the world. I, th I think farming for me was an opportunity to think globally and act locally, to be like, I, I can't, you know, keep reading about this big threat of climate change or um, the incredible, like, devastating loss of biodiversity and, like, just sit here and read about it. I also know that our little piece of land is probably not going to solve either of those things. But like doing something and seeing these, you know, 35 acres of pasture change, even if it's just the, the three short years that we've been farming, is, is a huge balm, I guess, to that. Learning to do and doing to learn, Molly and CJ are building for the years they have yet to see, one day on Moso Farm at a time. Reporting for Newswatch, I'm Morgan Anderson in Athens.